All right, today we are going to uh, talk about how to install this line reactor in front of the uh, VFD blower, uh, blower fan VFD on a R90 or any R series compressor. So as you can see, uh, let me get this in focus. As you can see, we've had quite a few blower faults, and so this can happen if you're in a facility that has kind of dirty power or not a very good constant power supply. Uh, any voltage drop can cause that VFD to create a blower fault. So VFDs don't like a lot of fluctuation in power, so hence we are going to install this line reactor to help clean that up. It's about a hundred dollar part you can buy online. Just got to make sure you size it correctly. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is trace down this wiring. So it looks like it goes from the incoming power, grab these wires, and goes up to the top of those fuses. From the bottom of those fuses, it goes to the top of this contactor, and from that contactor, it goes to the drive, the input of the drive. So essentially what we want to do is we want to put this uh, line reactor um, in, in between the fuses and the VFD. So I'm going to go ahead and take it from the bottom of these fuses. I'm going to take this out and we'll mount the line reactor like right up here and then we will uh, go back to the top of those contactors, to that contactor. Alright, so now you can see we've got this line reactor mounted. So uh, as you can see, so essentially what we're doing is we're going from the bottom of the fuse, downstream of the fuse, into A1, and then that's the line side, and then the load side from A2 into the top of the contactor. So before it was just going directly into here, now it's going into the line reactor, out of the line reactor, into the contactor, and so we've done that for all three legs. Into B1, out B2 in C1, out C2. And uh, that's how it goes. Basically this line reactor is a one-to-one -one transformer, just cleans up the power, kind of like a you know, big inductor.